Now, James Bond has been declared being the third greatest film hero and the fifth greatest movie character of all times. And that uh, since Dr. No, one quarter of the entire world population has seen at least one Bond movie. And we've got costume designer, international costume designer, Melina Okal with us in the studio to talk us through five decades of James Bond films and to see how the fashion, both of the Bond and the James Bond girls, have evolved over the last 50 years. Good morning and welcome to Expresso. Must be a quite an interesting thing to look through the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s and into the 2000s in terms of fashion. Should we start with the 60s and take a look? Yes. Okay, it's yes. The, the Sean Connery era. And yes. um, as you can see there, they're all looking very suity and uh, suited up. And the gentleman on the left, who is that? <laughs> yes, I put in Ian Fleming, because Ian Fleming, he identified himself as in the character. Mm. And because the strengths of the, of the actual history is that, of the whole <clears throat> James Bond, um, I, what I believe James Bond has become so, so famous because it was part of the history. He knew so many spies, mm. being, being who he was. And, and so, obviously, the main character was dressed always like that. Mm. And throughout the whole history, until today, we have the dinner suit, in, in that outfit, and it has been remained in fashion all the time. And then, of course, looking at the ladies' fashion there from the movies. Yeah, the ladies' fashion, that is the very interesting part of all, because the 1960s were opposite to what we see here. Mm. But, you know, it was the really liberation. There was the contraception pill that came up. The women were... Twiggy was. Twiggy was mm. the icon. Yeah. Film. Brigitte Bardot was the sex mm. idol, but still, um, it was opposite, completely opposite to um, to the James Bond girls. Now going over but to we this... do see, we do see that is the interesting part. We do see interpretations mm. in um, of the fashion of the pants and the and the masculine parts of the like the waistcoat, yes. but done in such way in a, that. Costumed in a way that it still pick up, they remain sexy, sexy, Go, sexy. The seventies, you see very flowy dresses. The pants were very flowy, and and that was that projected over into the James Bond fashion. Slightly, Roger Moore, Roger Moore. It always, what was created, it, it was seen Connery. Uh, well, of course, the dinner suit and. Also, the grey suit mm. remains, and you see it until now. The latest movie, which is going to come out now, um, um, uh, in the end of this month, you, we always have the grey suit, the the pale blue shirt, and the and the dark tie. But it is the shape um, uh, changes according to fashion. We had, you know, the cuts, the side yes. slits, uh, the cuts in the back. We had uh, the the, the um, the pas def, we say in French, the wider legs. <laughs> um, but Roger Moore only adapted it slightly, mm. slightly. The changes were always very, very, very decent. Yeah. Because that character had to remain classic. Well, had... going over to the 80s with, with James Bond, just his, his outfit, going through from the 80s, we're going to look at the 90s in a second, and 2000. He's kept that tuxedo line and... and kept with the fashion of the 80s? Yes. The main, there's always the suit which remains classic um, with the small changes, the tie, the collar, you know, the collars very lightly. Then we have the other scenes, uh, obviously, when they are traveling, mm. then things are co in, in the culture of yes. the country. Um, and then the, in the Yeah, and the casual, what I put down in mm. my presentation is the casual and the sports, there we see the actual uh, tendency of the period, mm. you know. Where, you know, we have the chinos, we have the, those uh, camouflage waist coats, we have the leather, leather coat. And for Roger Moore, that was a very interesting thing because as much as we as costume designers mm. always work in the period and take the interesting things out which we use to create our character with the actor, together with the director, of course, how his vision is. 
and well, the actor himself mm -hmm. is Melina, we, we're going to post these pics on our Facebook and we'll get our viewers to comment about that. It's yeah. really great having you on Expresso. Thanks so much for joining us. Let us know on our Facebook page, Expresso Morning Show SABC3, which uh, period of fashion when it came to James Bond of the last 50 years was the highlight for you? Which did you enjoy the most when it came to fashion? Let us know. Now we're sticking to the theme of James Bond. Ewan, what are you making in the kitchen?